What's up y'all? Good morning. Welcome to my channel, Salty Swigs. I'm Matt Swigum. It is a beautiful morning out here. As you can see, the sun's coming up in the back. It's about 6.15. Um, out at the pass this morning, just trying to target some mangrove snapper or some flounder. And um, I'm going to kind of show you how we do that out here with some live shrimp and possibly with some artificials today. So, Stay tuned, it'll be a fun little morning. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal. Got a ladyfish here. Ladyfish here. First bait coming out today. There we go. That is quite all right. Hold the hook right there. Don't really want to land that thing. I don't need it. Got a flounder here. I'm gonna flip it. Ooh, just barely snagged that guy. That is a keeper for sure. Get a measure on that. There it is. Beautiful. Get a measure. It's gonna be really hard for y'all to see that. But it is 15 and a half inches. No. Second shrimp dropped. Gotta keep her flounder. Love it. Love it. Great morning. Great morning. Chilling with Larry. There's Larry. Good day. All right, so what I'm using here is my Slammer 3, 4,500 size, spooled with 20 pound um, braid. This is the Toadfish, um, seven foot, two inch, medium, extra fast rod. I go right to um, 20 pound fluorocarbon, about 12 inches, to a half pound, or I mean half pound, half ounce egg weight, 40 pound barrel swivel, to 20 pound fluorocarbon Yozuri uh, leader, to a number one um, O circle hook. I know that's a little big on the circle hook, but it's what I got in the bag right now and it works fine um, and you do have to use a circle hook when targeting mangrove snapper that is one of my goals so I might as well throw it on there Little pig fish or a grunt. That's a pig fish or a grunt.
Another flounder. Yeah, baby. Yeah, buddy. Don't measure this guy. Pretty flounder. Look at that. I looked at my tape measure again. That flounder was only um, 13 and like three quarters. They got to be 14 here in Alabama to keep them. So I threw them back. All right, back at the fillet table. It is actually the next day. I've had these uh, this fish on the ice for 24 hours, roughly. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a little catch, clean, cook for y'all. So stay tuned. Now with flounder, you can just go straight down the middle of the back here. Find that backbone and then angle your knife one way or the other. And just start following the backbone on the inside. One more in. <coughs> now I'm gonna get the top loin off. <coughs> All right, now we'll get the top loin off. All right, welcome to the kitchen. Um, the plan is to make um, a baked flounder with um, like a pecan Parmesan crust on it. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna make the topping for the pecan crusted um, fish. So what I have here is probably about half a cup of chopped pecans and then I've got probably about a quarter cup of fresh chopped parsley right here. And then I'm gonna do a mix of grated Parmesan and Romano in here. Take those clumps out. So that's about three tablespoons I put in there of Parm and then of the Romano. About two tablespoons in there. And then you want mayo for your binder. A couple 
tablespoons. If you need a little more, you can put some more in. And last but not least is a healthy dose of garlic. And now we mix. Alright, and that's about the consistency you want. It'll hold to your spoon. You just want to be able to spread it. If you don't want it quite as thick, you can put a little bit more mayo in it. So I'm gonna show you how to make a hollandaise. Um, what I do is typically um, one egg yolk to two tablespoons of butter. And this is the simple way that I like to make hollandaise. There is a more advanced way where you use like a double burner, which is boiling water with a, another bowl on top of it. And it takes a little longer. I found that this works really well and just check it out. All right, so I've got two egg yolks in here and here's four tablespoons of hot butter. And you're gonna whisk this in really quickly. Pour your butter slowly, but whisk quickly. All right, now you see that consistency? Almost like a whipped yolk, but a little frothy. It's exactly what you want. You don't want any separation in that at all. So now, we'll just do about a quarter lemon. Squeeze that lemon juice in there. A teaspoon of salt. And then I like to do just a little dash of cayenne. Because I'll put cayenne in anything going to do in the wok. I'm just going to add these first, get them cooking. This is just yellow squash, onions, and a little bit of red pepper. I want to get these in there first because those are going to take maybe an extra minute. Added the peppers, the mushrooms, Getting it all going, it should be done in about a minute. I just put a little ginger puree in there. And now, finish it with a little garlic. Let that kind of brighten up, right in the middle of your pan there until you can start smelling it and then mix it all in. Just wanna wake it up. A little salt. And that's done. All right, so this is the flounder and this is the red fit or the red snapper. A little vegetable medley right there. I set myself aside, either way, this child. If you don't know the way, we can start and make a change. I know we walk for days, this is home, fake. Yeah, it's great. Y'all gotta try this recipe. So I'm gonna make a holland. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying so hard. <laughs>